Think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the SRT but it feel like a ride And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the all right, so today we got a 7-9 Max Track. We got a four-wheel drive Sierra. So uh, yesterday I didn't get a lot of footage because I was trying to hurry the fuck up. Uh, he dropped it off at four, and I was trying to go ahead and get the struts out and get them knocked out before five o'clock. So I had to hurry the fuck up and rip those out. So that way I can get them done. That way I didn't have to be delayed today um, to pick them up. So got those knocked out and uh, PSA, if you ever got to get something done for me and you know you're going to need struts replaced or struts swapped over or something, please, if you book a date with me, get here as early as possible because I hate having to fucking crunch and try to rip shit out and do everything fast as hell so that way I can get everything delivered to where they need to go to so that way I can get it finished in a timely manner. Uh, anyways, like I said, man, I'm just getting this shit all knocked out um so now i'm about to go ahead and start disassembling everything else and uh get it ready to get the diff dropped and everything um i got most of the boxes out this one that one and that one that's pretty much all i need and uh yeah so i'm gonna start organizing these parts get everything out that i need he's not gonna be putting the rear lip in uh so that's out the way he's gonna be putting a new setup on and uh that'll be pretty much it man all right, so updating y'all a little bit. Got the diff drop, got the little dorsal fin, whatever the fuck they call that shit. Uh, got the cross members in. Just gotta put the uh, diff, uh, just gotta put the drive shaft in and then uh, put that little mount right there in. Tighten everything up and then uh, we'll be building out. I got the bump stops cut. Of course, the cross member mount is uh, cut as well. So, making some moves, man. Trying to get this all done trying to clear out the floor but this is pretty much all i got left those are the struts i finally got them out but uh yeah everything else looks good so shouldn't be too much longer on this thing uh trying to knock it out before the end of the day uh or at least get it on the ground to where i can kind of tighten everything up and uh get it aligned so uh i can just pull it out and be done with it he can come pick it up thursday um but i'm pretty sure i'll have it done between today and tomorrow but yeah, man, just getting her done. So about to take me a little lunch break and then we'll hop back in here and uh, get some more motion. All right, so picking back up, just got a lot more stuff put in. So I got the lowers in, I uh, got the uppers in, and I got the axle with the axle spacers. And I also got that dorsal fin tightened up. So everything diff wise is tightened up. I got the vent hose connected. It was broke off before. So that should work properly now. Uh, now I'm about to start cutting these uh, dust shields so that way it can make room for the brake caliper and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the cross members knock those out so that way I ain't gotta think about them anymore and then put the sway bar link drop brackets on and then uh, I should be good to go as far as that goes um, I'm gonna put the struts in and all that shit and then uh, yeah man we cleared the floor out pretty much so just getting to it and uh, trying to keep moving and uh that's probably why i haven't really picked up the camera like that um uh, i just i'm trying to get this shit done man i'm on a time crunch and uh yeah i would have been had this damn thing done if it would have been here a little earlier but like i said we still gonna get it knocked out so but yeah about to uh go ahead and get to cutting some of this shit and then whenever i update y'all again uh we should be damn near done so let's get back to it all right so this is as far as I'm gonna get tonight. Got the spindles on, hubs in, axles are connected. Got the tie rods out, they're sitting over there. Gotta get those cut, uh, but as far as everything else, everything else is tight. Just gotta tighten up the uppers and uh, just double torque the ball joints and uh, put the sway bar link in and we'll be good to go. Um, after I cut those, I'm gonna get it aligned a little bit and then uh, she'll be ready. So yeah, just calling it a night early tonight because uh, I can't, just calling in night early because uh i'm definitely not gonna be in here all night uh i start driving trucks tomorrow so that's an exciting little chapter about to uh finally put this damn cdl to work and uh yeah man about to uh get on the road and 
start stacking up so I can build Big Red again. Cause uh, at this point, man, if nobody buys it by like September 15th, I think I'm gonna just lift it up again, put it back on Cognito. And this time I'm gonna probably go 100% all in with that shit. Um, probably just gonna go with the Cognito, uh, stack it again, and probably go with like some 28 by 16s and um, full powder coat. I'm gonna build the engine, probably put like a, a decent cam in it, build the trans and build the rear end, make it a perfect tow mobile slash, you know, show truck. So that way when I get done with my Honda, I can tow that bitch too. That's really all I really need a truck for is just to tow the Honda and shit like that. That's why I was gonna get a Duramax, but the prices of Duramaxes right now, bro, even the round bodies is fucking ridiculous. So yeah, uh, I don't know what kind of crack they smoking, but shit, I don't want no parts. But yeah, that is pretty much the plan. Um, like I said, I, I'm really not in a rush to go and get anything right now. Still got a lot of things that I'm gonna be trying to knock out. So, you know, if Big Red doesn't get a buyer in the next couple weeks, then I guess we're gonna keep her and put her back in the air. Um, I'll probably start out with just like a level and some rips um, until I, you know, of course, get to the point to where I'm gonna tear it down and do all that shit again. But it's gonna be a little bit. Uh, it's about to be getting cold here soon, so. It'll be just around the right time that I did it the other year. But, uh, yeah, that might be the plans. But, like I said, man, got everything pretty much situated. So, about to go in, call it a night. And then I'm going to try to get back out here tomorrow um, once I'm done. And then uh, just try to see if we can get this thing finished. I could have got it finished already. But, like I said, man, it got dropped off late. So, you know, it pushed me back a lot. And, uh, you know. It is what it is, but uh, yeah, for us to get this done in a day, it's pretty good. So, guess I'll check y'all out tomorrow. I don't know what time it'll be. It'll just be tomorrow. So, check y'all out. All right, so about to get started on Big Red. Got to get this shit because I'm about to do a little change too. But finna get started on Big Red. Uh, I was going to throw a lift kit back on this motherfucker and uh, just try to get it all knocked out uh, with somebody who was supposed to be coming, but uh, he ended up not being able to find stock, so there was no way that he was going to be able to do it. So about to uh, throw a three inch level on the front, stock control arms and take the flip kit out the back so that way I can uh, just run no blocks. Um, probably going to run the drop shackles too, uh, just to throw in there. but. Yeah, man, about to uh, get out of the low life shit, man. Look good, but uh, I just can't do U-turns and shit like that. I can't make tight turns and I'm just getting sick of the shit. And uh, yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna end up going back with the Cognito here in a couple months, I might as well just put it back up so that way I ain't gotta deal with the bullshit in the back. So yeah, so that's what we finna do. Just cop jason's uh leveling kit and his u-bolts because uh the ones that i have are definitely not gonna work i still got my lower control arms my uppers i got one shock i'm gonna have to use one of these shocks uh until i can get another one uh, i'll have to order that probably but once i get that in i'm gonna just throw it right in it's not hard uh, unless i can find one locally but yeah man about to uh go ahead and start i'm gonna go ahead and do the front first get that shit knocked out and then uh I'll go ahead and do the rear after that. Uh, hopefully I can get it all done by the end of the night. If not, uh, at least by in the morning. So that way um, I got some shit to do. But uh, yeah, I think Spiffy's supposed to be coming over tomorrow so I can do his drop shackles, but that won't be nothing major. It'll probably take me 30 minutes, um, but yeah. So that's what we getting into. I'm about to go ahead and get her in the air so that way I can go ahead and take the front wheels off get the front end knocked out and then uh, we'll move on to the back and finish her up. All right, so got the uh, front upper and lower uh, drop arms out. So got everything organized and uh, about to take a picture of this once I get the rear flip kit out. And uh, that's gonna take a little bit of work, but we're getting it done. And uh, as you see, got the three inch level in there and uh, all the stock suspension parts. I have my stock uppers from when I first got the truck, as you see, my fucking fender liners just got destroyed as it was lowered. Uh, it did this on the 24s and the 26s, so yeah, I ain't really no escaping that. I'm gonna have to get some new ones, but uh, 
yeah that's pretty much about it uh, as far as the damage on the arms uh, the only thing that's really fucked up is the boots so uh, whenever I sell these I'm gonna just let the person know just need to get these ball joints the good thing about these the uppers um, they're bolt in so no big deal with those and then these are easily pressed in but uh, yeah they seem better days but uh, yeah glad I'm taking this off because now I can finally u-turn and shit like that so not a big deal now but yeah it tore some shit up man so I had to replace all this shit but yeah man I'm about to uh, go ahead and put the wheels on and then uh, move towards the back I have to wrestle this goddamn flip kit out but we're gonna get it done and uh, hopefully by in the morning we'll be looking at a lifted truck again or at least a level truck all right so got the leveling kit on got it on the ground still got to get the alignment right uh did a little bit of sanding and uh used a little bit of that polish and it kind of got some of the bullshit out of these wheels i'm gonna have to really take my time into doing it but i just wanted to do a little quick little sand and wipe down to see how much i can get off and compare to the other ones it looks a whole lot better because you can see all this bullshit this oxidation or whatever the build up that's really uh heavy on that and uh as you see on this one it's all pretty much gone so if i take my time and actually sand these down step by step and then use uh like a polisher or some shit i think i can get it all the way good but uh that'll have to be on a day that i ain't got shit to do um i'm gonna try to look for some 35s like i said and then uh, just ride it like this but uh definitely not squatted like this this shit crazy this is a uh tremendous squat with the flip kit and the three inch this shit is crazy as hell but uh yeah man i mean looks decent in the front uh definitely gonna have to go with some spacers if i do go with them 35s i don't really give a fuck if i scrub because like i said man i'll be going up higher so it really ain't gonna be no big deal this is just something for now for a little winter time or at least until i get my cognito so flip kit is all out it will be for sale it's like one o'clock right now but big red is in the air now so got her on a three inch level in the front and uh no blocks with two inch drop shackles in the rear so uh it's sitting pretty decent uh you know not used to it being like this so just trying to get used to it a little bit used to it being on the fucking ground i'm gonna throw my toe hitch back on uh and i'll probably wash it up tomorrow i don't know just depends on how much time i got because like i said i got spiffy's drop shackles to do in the morning but yeah she's looking pretty solid can't wait to uh find some wheels to put on this motherfucker because man yeah these ltz's might not do it it's been a long fucking night that flip kit gave me hell but you know we got it all done and uh it's all right here so this shit will be for sale. I don't know what the price is going to be right now. I'm, I'm tired as fuck. I'm going to have to just look up what I paid for it. And uh, all it needs is just the ball joints replaced on all four arms. Uh, just for safety, but everything else is Gucci. Uh, it's got the lift shackles and everything. If you want to go six, you can use your stock shackles if you want to go to seven. So, yeah. But got the alignment kind of straight, so should be able to uh, be good to go at least until i can go drop it off at blading or some shit and get it aligned but yeah man that'll be that so and man we just hit 8k and uh i'm excited so it's been a long road i remember having like 500 fucking subscribers not even that i remember having 100 and uh now i got 8,000 subscribers so that shit crazy so just because of that man i decided man i'm gonna go ahead and keep fucking with the truck i ain't gonna sell big red um Ain't really no use, man. I done did a lot of shit with this truck, man. And it's pretty much the signature of my damn business. So I'm gonna keep building it and uh, get it to a point where this motherfucker is completely built. I'm thinking about doing motor work, cam, doing a uh, transmission rebuild, probably with some upgraded parts uh, and rebuilding the rear end with some upgraded parts as well. I'll probably end up throwing the exhaust back on here again. Um, I don't know if I want to keep the Super 10s on or go back straight pipe. Honestly, I'll probably keep the Super 10s on and just go with some tips and see how it sounds. But uh, we'll see. <coughs> but for right now, man, we're going to just uh, 
dial back, go in the house and relax, and then uh, hop back out here in the morning. And uh, I guess we'll get a pick for the page, and that'll be it, man. All right, so just wanted to update y'all a little bit. Uh, this is probably the end of the video, but uh, just wanted to update y'all on some shit. Put 35s on the uh, squat box here, so it's a three inch level. Don't really look like a three inch level. Fits look like it's a little bit taller than that, but uh, yeah, I got some 35s on there to use. But hell, they ride. They got plenty of tread, so they're all good to go. And uh, she's looking good, man. Bubba status. It's better than uh, lowered. Definitely rides a lot fucking better. And then uh, I told y'all a minute ago that uh, I've been trying to get into trucking and shit like that, bro. And I've been busting ass for the last six months, probably looking for trucks, me and Trippy. And uh, yeah, I guess we finally have found us one. Um, I don't like speaking on shit too soon before shit happens. I've done seen a lot of them, got approved for a lot of them, but uh, I guess we went ahead and got us one. So uh, I will be probably starting a new YouTube channel for that, but uh, let's take a look at her. So this is it, man. Mac Pinnacle 2014. It is ready to go already. So it's got good tires on it. Uh, just drove it all the way back from Lexington. It's about two hours away. And uh, yeah, she's a, a rider. Didn't have any issues out of her. She uh, drove all the way here good. Don't mind that noise. That's just a bleeder valve getting all the rest of the air out the system. But uh, yeah, man. That's it. So we definitely gonna be uh, making us some nice little runs here soon. I just got my business stuff back and uh, yeah, man. I went from backyard built to uh, owning my own truck and uh, now it's time to keep pushing. So I'm excited. It's a lot uh, in store for the future and uh, a lot of money to be made. So continue watching and uh, hit y'all up soon.